This is a review video of substitution reactions from the perspective of the Alberta Chemistry 30 organic chem curriculum. In substitution reactions, uh, for Chem 30, we're only ever going to do one substitution, so switching out one of the Hs for one Br. And we have to figure out all the possible products we could get for one switch. We're not going to be adding two or three Brs to the same molecule. So I'm going to start by doing my first switch with one of those end Hs. And once I've done that substitution, I'm going to figure out which H's would also give me, which H's that I could switch would give me the exact same product. Okay? And I need to get all the possible products for all those uh, different hydrogens being switched. Okay? Now in order for substitution reactions to occur, you need a catalyst, you need uh, some high energy radiation or ultraviolet radiation. Okay? In many cases, uh, sunlight can provide this energy to drive a substitution reaction. So I'm going to substitute out that red circled H and switch one of the BRs into its place. So I have a three carbon long chain. That very first H, I'm going to switch and put a BR in its place, a bromine atom, and none of the other H's are going to be replaced or substituted. Once that substitution is carried out, we have that leftover H from our organic product, and we have a leftover Br that's going to combine with the H. So we're going to get hydrogen bromide. And we get a 1-bromopropane. Now I have to consider what other Hs could be substituted and give me a different bromopropane. Now, if the far left H was substituted in a reaction, I'm going to get that same product, a 1-bromo. Or if this bottom H is substituted, I would also get a 1-bromo. And there's actually three more H's that could be substituted, and I would still get the same product. All of the H's on the far right, if any of those were substituted in a different reaction, I'm going to get the product I already have. So I've covered all six of those H's being replaced, but I have those middle H's I have to factor in. What if that top middle H was replaced in a substitution reaction? Okay. Well, that would create the following product. Three carbons, all the H's, but the green circled one would not be substituted in this reaction, and the BR would take the place of the removed H, and we get a 2-bromo product. In this second possibility, an H again gets popped out, and we're starting with diatomic bromine, and the second bromine atom shows up in our HBR. Okay. And for this question, those are the only two organic products that we could get. Okay. If this bottom middle H was replaced, we get the same 2-bromo product. So in this substitution reaction, we get two uh, organic products and two inorganic products. To complete this, we have to balance our chemical reaction, so we would need two of our original reactants, and we're going to need two diatomic bromines to carry out the substitution reaction. And that completes this quick recap of substitution reactions for Alberta Chem 30.